should have said Rick Rubin is incredibly wealthy himself, yeah. but that's how he chooses to live out in Malibu. Yeah, he's a very uh, simple, very simple guy, very simple home. It's just kind of a small bungalow out there, and that's where Kanye went to kind of escape it all and get his head right. When he was out there, was he recording any music, or...? He was. Rick has a studio there, and we're told right. when Kanye would feel inspired, the studio was right there for him. He'd do a little work, but his main priority, priority during that time was Kim and the kids. He just wanted to get away from Bel Air and the home there and everything that was going on, and Malibu was a good place to do it. It's interesting, uh, Brad, I think it's interesting that I, I get that she wanted to sort of remember this moment, a, a key moment in their lives, in their lives together, but then sharing it uh, on, uh, you know, with her fans on Instagram or in, it just seems like that's more like the old Kim, you know, like right it's kind of private it's really showing you uh into a personal time but i'm not sure that her intention at the time was to say hey here's where we were this is what was going on it was just kind of family photos people kind of got the wrong message and uh yeah, which is which is weird to me like if they would have been somewhere right now with diamond floors and like gold trim ceilings people would have been like oh look at the excess of the kardashian west exactly. but that, they're not in a place like that and it's like oh the kardashian west are trying to be like us that's why people live man you know what it is man it's damn if you do, damned if you damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, exactly. Like Sunny. <laughs> hey, it's Todd from Fur. Um, I mean, really think it's great that Kim and Kanye have a secret hideout. It's almost like they're superheroes. Batman and Rob. Oh, man. Todd. That's, that's not. That's not. That's not. Hey, by the way.